to show you how to make an assignment with a rubric. I know you understand the value of a rubric. And now I'm going to show you how to put a rubric on an assignment to help you with grading. All right, so first you need to make your assignment in Canvas. So as I've shown you on other videos, just go up here and click this plus sign in your module. Choose that you want to make an assignment. I'm going to call mine dogs. You always have to publish your page. Dogs. All right, we're going to go up and click edit. Here is where you're going to type your directions. I'm just going to keep mine short and sweet. I know you've got whatever it is you would want to say there. Uh, just for SAM purposes, I keep my stuff at 100 points. Um, for submissions, for this particular assignment, I'm going to do mine as an online for a file upload because my students would be uploading a Word document. And then you need to go down here and adjust your date so that you can see it in your Canvas gradebook and so it will be transferred over to Sam. So let's say you wanted your assignment to start today. If you want it to start in the future, put your dates over in the future, whatever works for you. I'm going to say mine starts today. I'm going to say that it's due Wednesday. And I'm going to say that even though it's due Wednesday, they have until Friday because I'm a big wimp and I give them extra time. Um, all right, so I have all that set up. And so I'm going to save it. All right, so you have everything set up and now you have access to your rubric. So you're going to click plus rubric and they give you an opportunity to make a title for it. And just for the record, you can use the same rubric for different assignments. It saves them for you. Um, I'm going to call this one dogs. And here's where you can add all the different parts to your rubric. There's a pencil here. That means they, that you can edit it. The first thing on my rubric, I'm going to say um, title. Um, student has a title on their project. Okay. So five points or no points. Now I want bigger points than that. So I'm going to get my little pencil and I'm going to say that the title is worth a whopping 25 points. And for rating title, they, they, they just say their default title is full marks. I don't really like that. So I'm going to go in there and say, yes, student has a title or paper. Let's say paper. Paper has a title. Whoop -de -doo. And then for the no is, you know, like shucks, no title. And you may be like, woman, well, that is such a big drawback of zero points. I know, I'm just using this as an example to show you. All right, then when you're ready for your next one, you're going to hit the plus sign next to Criterion. This little box pops up. New Criterion. New Description. All right, for this one, I'm going to write Word Art. Student uses Word Art. And again, I'm going to throw 25 points in here. Um, yes, word art was used. Whoop -de -doo. Uh, there was no word art. All right, now, right here, when I clicked Criterion, it says duplicate. I'm going to duplicate word art. And I'm going to ch change it to, mm, let's see, oh, image, clip art. Because I want the students to include clip art. And I'm going to change this to clip. So I don't have to fill everything out. 
And then I can just change this word to clip. So I'm not having to redo everything at one time. So you see I'm working everything out. So it's equaling 100 points. So far I've got a 75 point project. So now I just need to add one more. Um, let's see. A title, word art, clip art, and turning in the project on time. Just gonna take that off. Yes, so punctual. It was late. All right, again, I know you're like 25 points for being late. I know, this is just an example. I mean it. Love you, mean it. Okay, so this is your little rubric. We're gonna click Create Rubric. So now you have a little rubric here. All right, so this has it set up for you. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to use the rubric to grade a paper, um, but I have to end this video first. So that's how to set up the rubric. And the next one, I'm going to show you how to use the rubric to grade.